Hey everybody, welcome to Science with Jamie. Do you like my jacket? Did you just say it's Fendi? <laughs> uh, no, it's not Prada either. You're funny. All right, let's get the show on the road. So my hypothesis is if we wash our hands twice for 10 seconds, then our hands will be equally as clean as if we wash them for 20 seconds nonstop. Remember, I'm not a real scientist. To test this, I'm going to need something continually grubby. Oh look, here's Gizmo. He hasn't even had a bath in a couple days either. We're gonna start by washing my hands super, super well, getting everything off to start, just to make sure that there's nothing on there. Oh wow, look at that slow-mo shot. The water cascading the surfactant stripping away the bacteria and oils. So we are going to give Gizmo the best pets in the whole world for 30 seconds, and then we will touch the first Petri dish to get our control to see how grubby this little boy is. Oh my god, he's so cute. Then I will wash my hands for 10 seconds twice, and then another run for one round for 20 seconds. Really? Is this all the footage we have? <laughs> Perfect, now we will get out our test strips so we can use the rest of the Petri dishes. Currently I'm swabbing my boyfriend's phone, making sure to get under the pop socket and all the high contact places, and popping it into the foam soap sanitizer. Swabbing his phone again directly out of the foam soap sanitizer to minimize foreign contamination, and we will just get it right onto the petri dish here. After that we will do my phone. Swabbed it before, here I am placing it in. Nice good shot of uh, those invisible little bacteria, little bacteria guys. Just, they're all in there, you can't see them yet. <laughs> and pulling it out and swabbing it again. Now we have both me and my boyfriend's phones. You may have heard of phone soap. It uses UVC light in a contained environment to break apart cells from bacteria and viruses. You can fit most phones, keys, cards, whatever else that's small. I've had this one for about a year now. I use it almost daily on my phone to make sure it stays sanitized, and I am now putting it to the test. Then I got hungry, made myself a little smoothie. Swabbing a package I had literally just brought up from outside, see how gross it is. And I asked my boyfriend what he wanted for the last one. He picked his toilet. I do not have footage of that, so here is my baby avocado plant. Now we have all of them done, swabbed, and documented. So I put them all into the tub because somehow that was the warmest spot in my house that day. Um, it was a little sunny the next couple days, so I moved them to the windowsill. The gizmo control dish is already getting all steamy. The rest seem pretty normal so far. This is them three days later on the windowsill. Can't see too much of what's happening, but they all have some condensation inside from the moisture of the bacteria growing medium. Here we are, this is six days later on April 8th. Let's take a look and see what we grew. My boyfriend's phone before and after, clearly there's some stuff on it before and nothing after phone soap. And my phone, <laughs> gross little spots. Um, I don't know what those are, but they're gross. <laughs> nothing after phone soap, thank God. And the control, which should have nothing in it. Thankfully that worked out. And we're gonna get to the gross one here. This is the gizmo control. Just touching him, not washing my hands. Oh my god, gross. But it does not look good. So our results are after two times of washing our hands for 10 seconds. There is just this little tiny spot. I am not sure what it is. Um, but it got, I'm going to say 99.99%. And the 20 consecutive seconds one, there is also a small little thing in there. It looks similar to the other one. I'm not sure what it is. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comments below. 
Um, but our hypothesis holds true that, um, yeah, it works about the same. Thank God. Chris's toilet, beautiful. I clean that so well. I'm so happy for that. And the mail. That is gross. <laughs> Definitely going to be more careful with my mail from now on. And with that, we are all done. It was interesting to see what was super germy and what wasn't, as well as seeing as long as you just wash your hands for 20 seconds, seems like you'll get 99.99% of those germs off. Wash your hands and your pup often. Thank you so much for washing. I mean watching. <laughs> Have a great day.